Welcome to Spotlight on Kill Devil Hills. I am Mayor Sheila Davies. I would like to take a few moments to provide a summary of the May 7, 2012 Kill Devil Hills Board of Commissioners meeting. The board heard from a citizen during public comment expressing concerns about the traffic hazard created by a concrete median in front of Lowe's on Highway 58. The board members shared their awareness of the situation. The board indicated that it had received several comments from the public and the town staff has requested NC Department of Transportation to address it. The town is awaiting a response from NCDOT on the situation. Under new business, the board took the following action. The board scheduled a public hearing for May 23, 2012 on a proposed amendment to Chapter 153 zoning. This amendment would add a definition of LED LCD lights and would add regulations limiting the use of such lighting. The board made the following appointments. Joe Agnew was reappointed to the Zoning Board of Adjustment. Skip Jones was appointed as a regular member of the Street Improvement and Special Projects Committee. Temple Heggy and Christine Stafford were appointed as regular members of the Dangerous Animal Appeals Board. Also under new business, the board heard a presentation by volunteers from Room in the Inn, a local charitable organization that provides overnight housing and meals for homeless persons from fall to spring for approximately 20 weeks a year. The final item under new business was the town staffing study presentation by Assistant Town Manager Sean Murphy. Details of the staffing study can be found on the town's website at kdhnc.com. The board will use the information provided in the study to guide its upcoming budget decisions. Under presentations, the board, the board heard an update from members of the Outer Banks sporting events on its recent Storm the Beach event. Additionally, Dave Elder, T. Mike Morrison, and the town were all recognized for their support of the event. T. Mike Morrison was also presented with special recognition for his assistance to members of Team Extreme, a racing organization of wounded veterans who participated in the Flying Pirate Half Marathon this past November. Under the Commissioner's agenda, Mayor Pro Tem Hogan reminded everyone about the upcoming Bat Box construction demonstration being held on May 9th at Town Hall. To date, 30 individuals had registered to attend and receive a Bat Box. Under the Mayor's agenda, two KDH proclamations were highlighted. The first was the proclamation designating May 13th through 19th as National Police Week, and the second was the proclamation designating May 21st through 28th as National Beach Safety Week. Also under the Mayor's agenda, I announced that the Kildeva Hills Police Department will be hosting a presentation on Gangs in the Outer Banks on Thursday, May 31st at 7 p.m. at the KDH Town Hall. This is a follow-up presentation similar to the one that was done back in January 2012 where it was standing room only. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to email me or any of my fellow board members. Email addresses for all of us can be found on the town's website at kdhnc.com. The next regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners will be on Wednesday, May 23rd at 7 p.m. Thank you.